everybody. I've had a few questions recently about how the spawns work on Daisy Community Service for Xbox, PlayStation, uh, and PC, um, and how to alter them, and how to stop players all spawning in at the same place. So I thought I'd go over how it works. Now in the description below this video, you'll see a link to the I Survive maps, because these can be very useful when you're trying to come up with custom spawn points, and also a link to the official BI wiki that explains how they work as well. So the file that we're interested in that, that controls how players spawns, and I'm talking about spawn location, sorry, not what they spawn with, this is, this is where you actually spawn, is the CFG uh, player spawns uh, .xml. So on your server, if you go to the web interface, um, and then you go into your file browser, and we're using Nitrido as an example here, and then you go into a missions folder, so XB missions or PS missions or missions on PC. And then go into the missions folder, so Chernus for Chernus, Enoch for Livonia. And then you go down to CFG plane, player spawn points.xml and download that one. You can have a look at it on your computer in the browser if you want. Best to download it though, because then you can uh, make a backup. Um, we can actually have a look at it. Now, this looks a lot more complicated than it does. Now, this first bit at the top. Um, this controls um, the <laughs> where you would spawn if there was other things around you. So if you spawn in on the on the beach at Chernerus, but there was going to be another player right next to you, this is the bit that makes sure that doesn't happen. That's why it's very rare, if at all, you'll spawn in as a fresh spawn and see another player straight away. Um, you might see them a couple of seconds later, or you'll see a zombie straight away. With the old file, it used to kind of draw a picture they kind of show you but they don't bother showing you so you can ignore all that what we're interested in to start off with is this group parameters section and then the actual coordinates that are used also after this first group of coordinates you'll see more sets of um, coordinates that are the server hop ones and the server travel ones so these are for people really for um it's community servers, really. Uh, sorry, yeah, public servers, really. You know how you can leave one server and then join another one? And it, how it puts you in a different location? That's to do with that. So we're only interested in this first section. So the first thing is the group parameters section here. And you can see it says some, so we've got enable groups, we've got groups as regular, lifetime, and counter. So, so the the way that it works is if we have enable groups as true, which is the vanilla setting. The way that the way the game works is that it looks at these groups and it will look at the first group, so West Cherno, and it will say, "Okay, I want you to spawn all the new players who die and spawn in or join the server around these positions for 240 seconds." Okay. Then after 240 seconds, you're going to go on to East Cherno and you're going to spawn players here for 240 seconds. And then West Electro, East Electro. Now, when we get to Kamishovo, you'll notice that there's no lifetime or counter. And where there's no lifetime or counter, it defaults to whatever it says up here. So it's 360 seconds or six minutes. And it'll do that, and it'll go through them. And this is why in DayZ now, well, for the last few updates, when you spawn in, you'll often bump into another fresh spawn pretty quickly. And you'll also find all the loops gone as well, unless you're luckily the first person. So what this does is it forces interaction between players. Um, so especially on a server that hasn't got many people on it, it means that you, know, you will bump into other players. Because remember, where you spawn in also... Um, controls really probably where you're gonna go you know so if you're all spawning it's burning in Cherno you're probably all gonna start heading north aren't you so even if someone spawned there a couple of minutes before you chances are you might bump into them later on because you're gonna be heading in the in the same direction to go places like the Northwest Airfield or or various you know the, the point of interest on the map so what you can do as well is as it is as well we could change the lifetime so we could make uh, these spawns um, last longer or shorter. We could just have 60 seconds. So we could have 60 seconds between them. We could add a counter. Now when the counter says minus one, that means ignore me. Don't 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 have it. Don't have it. But what you could do is you could put a counter say of 10. Okay. And what that would mean is 
every time a new player spawned in, the counter would tick down one. So it would say, okay, 10, 9, 8, 7. And with every time a new player spawned in, the lifetime would reset as well. So that the lifetime would go back up again to 240 seconds. And then when it would get to zero, so all the players had spawned in, it would then flick on to the next group. So the idea then is that you could, um, you could if you wanted to, you could set lifetime to minus one. I think we can. Can we set lifetime to minus one? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Groups as regular lifetime. Lifetime encounter we turned off point value of minus one. Yeah. So what you could do, you could actually turn the the the, lot, the counter off and just have it in terms of players. So we could turn lifetime to minus one. And then it would just make sure you'd have 10 players spawn in and then it would go down to the next group. Or you could have the counter as one. So if you had the counter as one and the lifetime as minus one, someone will spawn in West Cherno and it go dunk, now East Cherno, now West Electro, now East Electro, now Chemistry Over. I d I'm pretty sure it works down the list in a linear manner. I don't know if it randomly chooses another group. They're not clear about that in the documentation. I haven't been able to prove it when I've been doing it. So you could do that as well. Um, let's change this back to minus one. Let's change that back to 240. So the other thing you could do though is if you're like, actually, I don't like this. I, I want I want to go back to the old way of doing things. You could just have enable groups. False. There we go. So that so it's just going to treat this um, as a regular spawn, as it says over here. So enables or disables the functionality. If turned off, the functionality ignores groups completely and reads the, the file as a simple list of spawn points. So it doesn't group anything together. It's just enabling them as, as spawn points. So yeah, that, that's probably, you know, if you want to go back to a normal way, that's probably what I would do. I would go down and I would have enable groups equals false. Um, and then, yeah, and you're just gone from there. Now, um, what you could also do is if you wanted a custom spawn point, um, what you could do is you could do something like this. So you could copy this and we could just do that. So we're just gonna, that's gonna be like our template. And then what we could do is if we put a left arrow bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and then go to the end of all the spawn points uh, group, 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 group. Put dash dash right arrow. So what we've done now is we've remarked out all of these, so the server won't read these. So now there's only <laughs> it's only going to spawn people in West Cherno. So what we could then do is we could go over to I Survive and let's say we wanted everybody to spawn at Prison Island. Okay, so let's go down to Prison Island. So we want everybody to spawn here in Prison Island. So we just do Control C. So let's copy that to the clipboard. We can now go back to here and just do Control V just to spawn that in. So there's our coordinates. So what we could do is we could copy that to there. We could paste that in there. And then we could copy that. We could paste that in there. And we could even get rid of all those other ones. Get rid of that as well. Could call this uh, Prison Island. Island. Like that. Uh, lifetime minus one. Um, what they actually give you in the... Um, in the example on their website, what's quite interesting, if you scroll down to the bottom, they have a setup using spawning groups and a setup you not using spawning groups, and they actually just completely get rid of the group parameters. See those group parameters there? So you've got generator parameters and generator pos bottles. They, they just get rid of it all. So they're saying that what you could do is if you just want to go back to the old system, you could just go dunk like that and just get rid of it. And then there's nothing there. So so group name, prison island, lifetime minus one, counters minus one. That means that everybody on this server <laughs> would spawn in around those coordinates on prison island. 
which it could, could be good for for a custom thing. Um, so by all means, you could carry on going around uh, the I Survive map, you know, and just type in Control C and copying wherever your cursor is, wherever the little crosshair is, that's where it will copy, and then you could put that in there. Um, and that's it really, that's kind of how it works. It kind of sounds more complicated than it actually is. Um, and as I say, you can always go back and you can refer to the official Bohemian Interactive Daisy uh, page to kind of, if you need a little bit of, um, if you're a little bit rusty on, on how it means to do it, uh, you can always do it like that and that would work fine. Um, there we go. And then what you would do is you would then save that, go over to your web, go over to the web browser for your site or FTP program, upload the new CFG player spawn points that XML over the top of the existing one and restart. Might be an idea, as ever, to go to um, XMLvalidation.com just to validate the file, make sure that it's true before you do it. And if you do run into trouble and you're like, oh God, it doesn't seem to be working, remember as well, I've put a link to this in the description below this video as well. You can always go back to, let's go to the, is that it there? Yeah, so I'll put this link. So this is the official Behem Interactive Daisy Central Economy GitHub repository. So this has all the vanilla files. So if you click on code, download zip, download that to your computer and then unpack it, you'll find you'll have all the mission files so you can go back and you can have a vanilla CFG player spawn points uh, there we are, where are we where are they there we go you can have the vanilla version of that so if you do make a mistake you can always use that and you can go back and you can upload that to your server and you could at least get your players spawning in again um, and uh, not maybe spawning in in the sea uh, which can happen when you get things wrong okay so hopefully this has been useful i have done a video about this before but i thought i'd do an updated one uh, remember if you've ever got any questions about daisy and playing the game or server modding let me know because that enables me to then make a video about it and if you're thinking of the question there's probably hundreds if not thousands of other people who are thinking about the same question too brilliant that's enough for me if you enjoyed the video hit like once you want to say press subscribe of course i'll see you again soon